If you're like me, you've been playing Mario games your whole life. At the time of recording, Mario games have sold well over 430 million copies. And that's just the mainline games. Factor in Mario Kart, golf, tennis and everything else he's done and, well, it's a lot. In fact, it's easily the best-selling video game franchise of all time. If you were born in the 1980s onwards, Mario has always been there, and perhaps he always will. But are Nintendo really too big to fall from grace? What if quality began to slip and people stopped caring about this lovable plumber and his insane jumping skills? Just take a look at the likes of Ubisoft or even Disney. Ten years ago, it was unthinkable that the House of Mouse would ever so much as stumble. They are but two examples of companies many believe have lost their way. But Mario and Nintendo are different. Mario isn't Mickey Mouse, nor is he Sonic the Hedgehog. He's not Pac-Man, Master Chief, or Ronald McDonald. He's not Lara Croft, Bugs Bunny, Pikachu, Superman, or even Link. Where's he going with this? Dunno. Mario isn't even really Mario. Okay. He is Nintendo. Oh, I get it. I think? You may associate mascots with their respective franchises, but none of them represent those franchises like Mario represents Nintendo. Actually, no, he more than just represents them. He channels the ethos, the intent, and the direction. He's the flag flying from the very top of this multi-billion dollar global conglomerate. The brush the Nintendo uses to paint its very soul onto the medium of video games. Not just video games. Movies, theme parks, and toys. Hang on. What the f*** is he on about? Has he been drinking again? What is a Super Mario experience? Some of you may think of games like Super Mario Odyssey, or maybe the Super Mario Bros movie will spring to mind, or even the Mario Kart series. Or Dr. Mario. <laughs> Lol. But the reality is that there is no one answer that would satisfy everything he has ever been. Nintendo has repeatedly stated that their mission is to put smiles on the faces of everyone we touch, consumers, employees, and even people along the supply chain. I don't want anyone from Nintendo touching me. They mean emotionally. Oh, I don't want that either. Mario represents a significant part of this philosophy. Anything Nintendo needs him to be, he's ready to be molded and shaped to perform. And while other Nintendo characters contribute in their own unique ways, none are as versatile as Mario. And it's Mario that allows Nintendo to focus their zeal and creativity significantly more than any other mascot is able to do. Mickey Mouse is still a worldwide symbol for Disney, but they don't really use him all that much anymore, to be honest. And he's more of a token when they do. Yeah, and McDonald's don't really roll out Ronald McDonald much anymore, do they? And I don't blame them. <sighs> as long as there is a Nintendo, there will be a Mario. And Nintendo's core values have stood the test of time for well over a century at this point. Longer than even Disney. He's timeless, ageless, Accessible, adaptable, admirable, relatable, memorable, moldable, and has amassed an army of fans. An army I'm proud to be part of. As gaming moves into the future, everyone who has grown up alongside him will find themselves looking back across a lifetime of gaming experiences, and Mario will be there every step of the way. This begs the question, what has been Mario's most defining moment? Or is it yet to come? Feel free to talk to us in the comments below. We always look forward to reading them. Let's-a go.